So yesterday, guys, uh, we were busy. Up to now, we are still busy following the protest stuff. But then again, there are some other issues that are happening that I think that we should all we should be aware, aware like P Square Brothers. According to Ruth Belkoi, guys, he said his twin brother, Peter Okoye, got him arrested by the EFCC for misappropriation of fund, scamming, and fraud. But one of the things he said was that after EFCC cleared him, he was expecting Peter Okoye to at least do the needful. Come to him and say, brother, Sorry, I apologize for this because he said, What if him they into fraud? Like, so a young blood brother would just go expose him without even saying sorry. See, I already knew some of you already know that all those guys know they together again. I knew some of you guys already knew that P Square was no more, they have quoted again. Two brothers, so not just brother, twin. They share the same plan at the same time, the same everything at the same time for his belly, their mother's belly. But not even twin, no? not all those just, 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 just twin, identical twins. There are just few differences you can use to differentiate Root Boy and uh, Peter Okoye. Paul Okoye and Peter Okoye, few difference. But this guy, drag, Peter Okoye drag his brothers to court. I understand Peter Okoye, you know, when you feel you have been um, cheated and do a lot of stuff, you know, cheated and everything. I understand. I don't really know the details about their whole stuff. But what we are just talking about, how? How twin brother would they fight each other like that to the extent say they want to make sure say they lock each other up? What kind of hatred is that? I thought they were good. They came together. We were already expecting some uh, timeless songs from uh, from uh, P Square, and again we were told, we were told. According to Root Boy, he said he wrote ninety five to ninety nine percent of P Square songs. He said it. And obviously, guys, uh, after they went solo, you saw the person who made it musically than the other person. Let's be honest. We saw it, guys. We saw it. Root Boy made it musically than Peter Okoye. Sorry. If you yeah. Now, this thing was happening like December last year. Wow. Wow. And what happened this year? I was invited by the EFCC. A repetition against me and my other brother. And I did not expect, I never thought it would come to this part. I thought it was just music. And then, next thing, people are telling me, What did you do? Uh, 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 somebody say you're gonna go to jail 20 years, they're gonna lock you up. Uh, 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 what did I do? Okay, I got there. Okay, what is it? They told me everything. They, as they, they've already printed all my account statement, everything. Put it on the table. I uh, explained this, 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 this. First of all, what I thought in my mind, what if I was a bad person? I'm, I'm even doing one dubious like a Yahoo boy. I saw this mm. guy, don't just finish me. This thing, how much 200k take blank check? But what about you? I know they buy put that for me. This is my account. All of a sudden, he went back to claim something and took us to almost 2006 7. Then, only for me to be excited, me explain how you have 200, they gave you 200,000, did not give you, mm -hmm. and let us start tracing it to where you bought the vehicle. And I already told him this is the reason. So now, after they told you every time the truth came out, I was innocent. What, what would you do if you What the next thing you do? I'm sorry. Simple. I didn't know. Simple. So there was no I'm sorry from your brother? Never. So, um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying it, but because the fact that this thing is on the ESCC and is already out in the public. Otherwise, don't forget, I see working with brands. 
if I don't clear it out, it will affect you me. Will lose yep. them, yeah. So the the same way you took it out there, why don't you go? They decided the investigation. I was there. That was that the kind of question they started asking myself. I wasn't comfortable with them. I said, what is this? Then when I knew it was a bit kind of serious, was when I said, you have to get the shorty, you have to get the lawyer, you have to get this. I said, Whoa. what? Whoa. OK, Whoa. I did everything. Whoa. Then what then happened? One month ago, they called me, they called him, they called the other brother. Say, first of all, what say that after all investigation, Paul is innocent, first. And Paul is cleared. Everything I accuse him of, we've done investigation now. And what was this thing? It's a lifestyle. I've worked so hard. I'm, I'm a very good business person. I save. So there's a difference between when you want to pay somebody and say, okay, you want, he wants to buy this thing. There's a difference between when you want to pay somebody and say, okay, you want, he wants to buy this thing. Well, uh, okay, guys, uh, you heard him correctly. And uh, the reason why his brother and him, they are fighting are because of money. And money. And uh, if you hear him well, uh, you hear saying they try to tell you, say, Peter Okoye is broke. That is the reason why Peter Okoye is wondering. Maybe the reason why my other brothers are not broke. Maybe they cheated me somewhere. They collected money and I don't know anything about it. So Peter Okoye was trying to do some digging. That is the whole explanation so far. But arresting your brother because of money dragging him to EFCC. I want to believe that Peter Okoye may have may have done anything possible, exhausted all the opinions, exhausted all the avenue, like trying to interact with them, trying to talk to them, trying to get their attention on a round table to discuss about his grievances. I believe he may have gone through all that before you did drag your brother go EFCC matter. Come on, man. Come on. Blood brother, so. And here we are. We are waiting for you to drop one bedu. One banger. Unfortunately, well, we never knew you guys were busy sorting out your issues. With that being said, let's talk about Whiskey. <laughs> so check out this. You know, Whiskey recently was featured on uh, this uh, beautiful woman, a singer, uh, she, she sang, she sang, uh, new music featuring Whiskey, uh, Walk Me Out. Guess what? According to someone, she said the total cost of Walk Me Out visual was... 2.5 million US dollars. And she said she paid whiskey, whiskey as flight expenses to the shoot location. Good and fine. You pay whiskey flight expenses to the shoot location. 2.5 million US dollars for a music video. Firstly, I don't know if that was coming from that woman. Who, but if that was coming from that woman, then honestly, that is absolutely lies. Well, lie. I can never, never believe such thing. 2.5 million US dollars for a music video? Come on now. This is not trailer by Michael Jackson. Oh. This is not trailer by Michael Jackson. Oh. Just one venue. It's not as if you guys travel from one country to another country, like five different countries shooting this particular music video. Ah, oh, this is not Beyonce, oh. That you have to rent out an, an, an entire historical a theater to be able to shoot a music video. This is just a studio uh, filming. So, guys, uh, whoever is bringing up such ridiculous amount, eh, and Whiskey fans are praising it, hyping it up. It's a big lie. There was no such amount spent on such thing. You could not the suffering the hype matter. Not to the hype issue too much. 2.5 million US dollars for what? For what? If the girl said it's like 300,000 US dollars to shoot that music video, I will even, okay, kind of like agree. 
which I still think is way too much, three hundred thousand US dollars. But that being said, that's just how it is now. The people just lie, just lie and talk. And then Kiss Daniel said, "Ladies, use your punani collect information from men. Come on, man, Kiss Daniel, man. You are a father now of uh, of uh, of a daughter." I think that is triplets, is twins now. I don't know one is daughter. Yeah, she's he's a father now. You shouldn't be giving out such information now. Abba, we are here trying to re-educate our women, trying to remove them from that aspect, from that thinking. And here you are dragging us back. Come on, man. Kiss Daniel. Don't drag us back now. Don't drag us back. Let us re-educate our women. We shouldn't be saying use punani to get information from her. What are you trying to preach? Somebody will make excuse. Oh, now you they take the matter hard. He, he, he doesn't mean what he meant. <laughs> Paul Percy said, if you want to use, if you want to get information from a man, use a punani. So, someone will defend him and say, oh, he didn't mean what he meant. He meant this and that. Start reading meaning into something that is so plain and white. <laughs> I'm just saying that though. So guys, thank you very much for watching boy again. I'll see you next time.